Hey, how's it going? Y'all got me out of bed to come here and make cocktails. My name is Jake Finley. I am the beverage director here at Old Thousand. on a Ramos Gin Fizz. We're gonna be using the Waterloo Number no. 9 Gin out of Dripping Springs, Texas. We also have the Dark Side. It's a black currant cider, also out of Texas. Lemon juice, yuzu juice. So yuzu is a Japanese stone fruit. Uh, it should be readily available at Whole Foods, any Asian market, probably Central Market as well. Coconut milk, unsweetened and simple syrup. Equal parts water, sugar. Along with all of that, we're also gonna be adding egg white. All right, so as far as ingredients go, we're actually gonna start with our yuzu. So we're gonna do a quarter ounce, three quarter ounce of lemon juice, fresh please, half ounce of coconut milk, and then Three quarter ounce of simple syrup. Simple syrup is just that. Half water, half sugar. Uh, after that, we're gonna add our egg white. Best way to do this, crack it, open, and then kind of marry or rock. I'm gonna put two dashes of orange bitters. Uh, this is a Japanese jigger, so it does take three dashes per one dash. And then I'll put two ounces of Waterloo gin. So normally a Ramos Gin Fizz is a 12 minute shake, dry shake. We're gonna do a minute. Because my arms are gonna be really tired and I really don't wanna shake this for 12 minutes. So for a traditional Ramos Gin Fizz, in New Orleans, they used to have bartenders lined up all the way down the bar, shaking, passing the shaker along. Shaking and passing the shaker along because it's a 12 minute shake for a proper Ramos Gin Fizz. All right, so now that we shook for about a minute, we're gonna add our ice, maybe a little bit more. We're gonna shake for another minute. Just to break up those bubbles in here a little bit more. Make it more frothy. So this rift on a Ramos Gin Fizz is pretty easy to make at home. It's gonna be very summery. Uh, these summer citrus flavors are gonna pair really well with any food we serve here at Old Thousand. 